there was just a lot on my mind recently. I've talked to my mom about it and have my own YouTube team. Hi guys, so today I'm just gonna get ready. Just a very quick um, chit chat, get ready with me I guess. I'm gonna go out to meet Enzo. We have a couple things um, working on together. So hopefully that does go well. I don't know, I just thought about sitting down and chatting with you guys but I'm actually kind of in a rush because I woke up I woke up fine but then I had to do a couple of things before I actually started getting ready so yeah but um how are you guys I have been doing quite okay I guess you can say um a couple of weeks ago I went through something I went through a very emotional phase I guess there's just a lot on my mind recently. A lot of things have been happening or have not been happening in my life that I wish would already happen. Yeah, I've talked to my mom about it and we just said to wait a while and just let life take its course. So I'm kind of in the um, part of my life where I am trying to really understand what it is that I want to do with my life. I have a friend who just recently decided that she doesn't want to do marketing anymore and she is going into fashion styling, which is absolutely amazing. Like I didn't even know that was a thing before she told me, so that's that. I know that I want to be doing marketing because it's, it's very interesting to me and I really like the psychology behind marketing and everything that comes along with it, even the sleepless nights and the countless meetings. Yeah, that's a really important thing and I crave for that adrenaline that I always used to get back in school whenever we'd have pitches. So that's one thing that I sure am, that I am sure of. Oh, I need my lip balm. Do you guys want me to do like a, an updated what's in my everyday bag? Because I could definitely do that. My everyday bag has definitely changed from the past few years. So Also, I don't know where my cherry... Um, bomb.com is. I hope I find it really soon because that was my favorite one too. Oh, I just did my wraps. So I have to continue. Should I put concealer on? Just a bit, maybe. All of my friends have now, I think, are now working at their jobs. A couple of them are freelancing. A couple of them have gone to different avenues. Like I said, I have a friend who's surprisingly went to fashion styling. Um, we're all at the stage where. We don't really know exactly what we want, but we know that where we are isn't the ideal place for us, you know? Like, I think we're just at the stage where we are trying to explore whatever avenue we can go to, just to know that we've lived our life to the fullest, you know? I've noticed that in some comments, people have said that they want to hear more of my speaking voice. So I'm gonna try to make more videos of me talking. I'm just, I guess I'm not that comfortable talking on camera yet. It's been a while since I've been back, so I'm still kind of getting used to talking in front of you guys. To be honest, I'm not 100% comfortable speaking in English at home. It's just not, it's not something I am used to because we usually speak in Filipino here at home. Sometimes my family kind of mocks me when I speak in English. That's, I guess that's kind of one of the few reasons why I miss school. I was more comfortable back then, I felt more confident too. I'm so overexposed actually. So yeah, like I said earlier, I've talked to my mom about it and we've said that we're just gonna wait it out and see where life will take me. I'm only gonna be applying for jobs that I feel like I 100% would love to work at or to be in. I'm not really gonna be just applying to any company. I'm gonna look at if they actually, if their values actually are the same with mine, and if I feel like the company culture is somewhere I'd want to stay in. I'm not gonna lie, I really missed doing YouTube. It's been a while since I've actually like thought about making videos. Like right now, I'm actually planning my content for the next month. I've talked about collabing with friends and things I could do in the future. Like, I still don't see myself doing this as a job, but it's nice to have that option of this being my hobby. It's it's always been a hobby, actually. Just to 
tell you guys um, how, why I started my own YouTube channel. The main reason actually is because I wanted to be better at speaking. Because I was in a marketing class and a marketing course back in college, I had to learn how to speak more and to be more comfortable and more open when speaking in front of an audience because we would have pitches every other week and it was always to big clients. So that kind of scared me a lot. But because I started my YouTube channel, I became more and more comfortable with speaking and coming up with ideas of how to best reach the target audience. I don't want my YouTube channel to be like something that would stress me out. It's just something that I go, it's like a friend you go to when you're really having a bad day or when you're really bored. That's what you guys are to me. And I'm very thankful for the couple hundreds or couple like less than hundreds who have stayed. I mean, I know I do have like a, a couple of subscribers, but now that I am back, only a couple hundred have actually been watching and it's, I don't know, I'm thankful for you guys for staying with me on my journey and for coming back to my channel, even though I don't even know if I will be consistently uploading. Most of the friends that I started out with YouTube have now become really famous and I kind of am shy to approach them because I feel like what if I ask to collaborate with them and they think that I'm just there for the clout, you know? I don't know, I'm just, there's a lot that I've been thinking about lately. I've been thinking about YouTube, I've been thinking about life. I'm just thankful to have such amazing friends who actually helped me with my YouTube channel. Thank you so much to Enzo and to Astrid. Astrid, thank you so much for helping me with my thumbnails. They have been great. I have been loving my thumbnails ever since you started helping me. And to Enzo for helping me actually come up with a content strategy and to think about more content that I could put out. So that's thank I'm very thankful for you guys. I feel like I have my own YouTube team even though I'm not even like a big time YouTuber. So that's, I'm super thankful. Also to my boyfriend, John, super thankful for your support and to my parents, to my mom and to my family, to my baby cousins who watch every single one of my videos every single day, um, to Jill who freaking started um, getting her phone and filming herself on the camera just so she could say she has a vlog. We're probably gonna come up with a series either on my channel or we're gonna be making a channel for her just so she can explore that avenue because she doesn't want to be an artista but she really wants to make youtube videos to my friends who want to start a youtube channel Thea and vince you know just go for it to jake i'm so proud of you for actually starting a youtube channel um i've got such amazing friends to be honest i have never been so thankful for life what should i do with my hair ever since actually that i have dyed my hair brown I miss, <laughs> I miss my blonde hair, but I don't really want to dye my hair back. Like maybe, maybe in three years, maybe in two years, maybe in a year, I don't know, we'll see. I'm working on a lot of things for YouTube. There's a lot of things that I want to be able to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 